Hey guys, Hector here with another Otaku product review, and today I want to review this anime mouse pad. I'm sure many of you guys have seen these type of Otaku mouse pads before. They might have anime characters, video game characters, or various other characters, and they have these wrist rest pads, and sometimes they're boobs and sometimes they're behinds, and they can have female characters or male characters on the mouse pad. And so some people were asking me to buy one and review it, and honestly, I've been wanting to buy one for a while and check it out. So I got one, and I've been using it for a few days now, so let's talk a little bit about both the design and just how well it works. So obviously there are a lot of different otaku mouse pads out there. This one is from Tangibler, and I did not know who the character was, I was just looking through all the character designs that they had. I picked the design I liked the best because I usually like that gothic lolita look. Apparently this is Kurumi Tokisaki from the Date Alive series. And the picture is printed, printed on there pretty well given the fabric. According to the sales listing, it's anti-biosis like a cloth or something like that. And before I just used my table as my mouse pad and I would just kind of slip around here and there. With the mouse pad, it's a lot more precise and I know exactly where I'm going to go. So that's a plus. And on the back, it has this black rubber coating to keep the mouse pad on the table to keep it from slipping really easily. You can still move if you press it along the bottom of the mouse pad. Maybe it kind of gets more air doing that, I'm not sure, but if you're just moving it like this, it does not move as easily. You just have to keep going low to be able to push it. And the stuff inside, it says natural silica gel, and then it also says high quality silicone. So I'm not sure if those are two different things or if they just kind of mix up the wording. Either way, it serves its purpose, its function. The point of this is the wrist rest for the mouse pad. It's a rest wrist. And it has the ergonomic design or whatever. The, the whole point is to keep your wrist up while you're using the mouse so your wrist doesn't get hurt and you don't get carpal tunnel syndrome and all that sort of stuff. So it serves its function and it has resistance to keep your wrist up. So it's not like actual real boobs which are super super soft because if you use material that's more like real boobs your wrist would just sink and then it would defeat the whole purpose. So it uses silicon or silicone or whatever and silica gel. I'm not sure the difference between them but that's what it says and it's good and in case you want to see how resistant it is let's do a close-up and one more side note when I got the mouse pad and opened up the package I had this really weird smell almost like a chemical smell or like a paint smell and it's gone away over time I've had the mouse pad for about a week but I can still faintly smell it That's pretty much all you need to know about these otaku mouse pads. If you want to buy one yourself, I will leave a link in the description to an Amazon listing. And if you use my link, I will get a small cut, but it won't cost you anything extra. It'll just help keep my YouTube channels and my website running. And you can also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or appreciated me doing it. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more otaku related stuff. Sometimes I do vlogs and sometimes I do product reviews. So I guess that's it. See you guys later. And as always, don't be afraid to be an otaku.